it's an attack on every deputy in Doyle Aaron and it's an attack on all decent people who vote for any deputy that um, they, they can have their TD's family put in absolute fear. You can imagine what the, the state of that household is, is today. I mean, it's not just the loss of a car. It's the implicit threat of personal violence uh, unless uh, he changes his mind or says different things. The language of the far right use, their tone of speech, that they normalise has taken root among people who would otherwise be decent and reasonable. And that is where the greatest danger lies. All of us elected to public office have a duty to stand firm against this. And we must educate and convince people of the dangers of that indirect prejudice and what it produces. And more than anything else, we have to take responsibility. I mean, it is just absolutely outrageous that these hate speech is becoming normalised and has been allowed to become normalised. And it is. It is becoming normalised. It is becoming acceptable for that to happen. And those of us who are victims of it, who are getting the text messages, who are getting all these threats, are not going to stand down. Anybody who goes into democratic life in a representative capacity does so with a mandate from the people and is required to um, use his or her own personal judgment on issues. And I think that Deputy Kenny has been very uh, clear in what he has said and done. And uh, I think that it's uh, absolutely abhorrent that um, his family and himself are now living in fear as a result of unnamed, uh, cowardly people who are um, trying to manipulate um, uh, events in Ireland, I think for an ultra-right kind of agenda.